This morning I uh, needed to get away from life in general and I entered the woodlands that are above our home where there's about 20 some miles of hiking trails. And I'm on the highest, most distant trail from civilization. I'm on the very peak of a place called Liz's Loop. Uh, Liz was a person who loved to hike and when she passed away some landowners uh, created right-of-ways so people could hike through their property to get to this remote spot and it's it's a real gift to us here. It's just uh, stunning. I'll give you a panoramic view of this. It's just different types of terrain. I just love hiking up here. It's kind of a tough hike getting up here. But there, there was a reason why. I was just thinking about some of the issues that are taking place in the church and in culture today. I've never seen a time, uh, apart from maybe the 60s, when we've been so divided. I think the division now is as deep in the church as it is in the culture and as it was in the culture in the 60s. I'm seeing uh, lines being drawn for social issues that in number of themselves absolutely need to be addressed. But what's happening is we're violating some of what the Lord talked about in the Gospel of John where he said they're gonna know uh, that you're believers because you're one with each other, not one on, on opinions of uh, demonstrations or opinions about statues, even though those are valid. I'm not dissing those at all. But they can't become a place of division where we destroy the oneness of the body of Christ. And the scripture that Jesus uh, was referenced in, in John, says that the world will believe because we're one, not because we've got the right opinion on a social issue. And as I hiked up here, I realized that we need to give right away, like the landowners gave right away here, for the memory of a woman named Liz to have a trail access point to this absolutely stunning piece of timber up here in mountainside. I'd never be up here if it wasn't for the right-of-way given. And I just really encourage you today to do what Paul uh, instructed the Philippians to do, to live with one spirit and one purpose, and that purpose is the gospel. Now the gospel can be represented in many different ways. It can affect social change, which is very positive and good, and I, I believe we need to do that. But the greater thing that's taking place right now is the division in the church. My opinion and your opinion is worth absolutely nothing if it divides us against another believer. When push comes to shove, my only witness is love. And I'm not talking about a pushover love, a soft-bellied love. I'm talking about a love so strong that it will allow a right away for somebody to walk through my opinion so that we together can get to a higher place. I just would ask you today to inventory your life and your responses to what's taking place in our culture. If what you're doing creates separation, you'll never get to the high points. You'll never get through the right-of-ways because it will block access off to that greater thing called the oneness of Christ that the church is supposed to live in. That is our strongest witness. Take care.